Hi, I'm Ben with RA3D Redux, and we're going to cover our shop prep for the three-day robot build that we will be holding here uh, starting January 7th on First Updates Now. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. We have our CNC router that one of our team members, Jack Spangler, uh, he's a mentor with 1756. Um, so he's got a personal CNC router that we've brought in to uh to use with the three-day build we've been doing some configurations on it so it's a little bit messy around here as we get things working um, but one of the nice things about it it's got over a uh, three feet by three feet build space a little bit more than that um, so this will be great for cutting polycarb out of different shapes so so our team members can do a little bit of catting and then cut some things out with that um, we've got plenty Obviously, every uh, every year, most of them have bumpers. We got plenty of pool noodles over here for that. We have for we'll pass our, our swerve drive chassis on the way, but we've got extra modules over here so we could build a second chassis for testing. Moving over here around the room, um, material storage rack. We've got a number of different aluminum profiles that we've uh, that we purchased to set up here. We've also got some. Uh, some of the new rev extrusion as well. So we're gonna play around with that a little bit during the, uh, during the build season here, some of the, the ion extrusion. Um, we have a belt sander. So this is uh, obviously useful for deburring uh, things. A couple vices, there's one right here. And we also have one on the opposite side of the room as well, if we wanna pan over in that direction. Uh, so that's, uh, you obviously as an FRC team, it's great to have vices. Um, the, uh, we have a metal cutoff saw. So where this is particularly useful is making sure we have straight cuts on all of our, uh, all of our material. This is a nice inexpensive way to do that. It was only around $180, uh, to get the saw. So, um, it's great cause it makes straight cuts and that's very, uh, straight, accurate cuts, accurately measured. So that's very useful. Um, it, where, um, and it's not super, it doesn't really break the bank to do it. We've got storage containers. Um, did these rather uh, rather cheaply from Harbor Freight. So trying to all the relevant things that you need as a FRC team. For example, lots of hex uh, material, particularly from the Thrifty Bot. Um, you can get lots of uh, lots of uh, Costco lot items there. So that's very useful for us. Um, we got um, gears and planetary. We've got a lot of gears from Andy Mark. Um, as well, we've got plenty of um, the uh, planetary transmission for the max planetaries from, um, from Rev that we've got stored in this container here. So we've got three to ones, four to ones, and five to ones. Chain perspective, we got both 25 and 35 here. Um, depending on what the game is, we could need either uh, for pulling that off here. A number of different sprockets as well. And you got additional rev ion uh, hardware here. Um, beyond that too, we've got some, uh, we've got, this is some of the hardware that we have. There's going to be some additional that we get to later. This is a lot of the bigger hardware that we would need for potentially building a robot. From a sensor perspective, a uh, number of different sensors for all different sorts of uh, applications that could come up. In particular, I want to highlight the Playing with fusion sensors, the time of flight sensors, these are very useful for detecting game pieces and locations of objects within your robot. So uh, looking to really leverage those as we get things going here. Moving on, um, we got a nine inch bandsaw. We've been using this uh, as we prep the robot over here. It's cutting like a champ. Also only around $200 to get this in, um, super useful. Um, additionally, we got a $30 little bench grinder here. Um, this one is kind of cool because it also has a multi-tool on it. So we can do the, uh, like, uh, conventionally called like a Dremel tool. 
um, we can use this to do a number of uh, interesting things and also just grind down our, uh, if we cut off a bolt, grind it down, that sort of thing. We've got our, uh, our standing jigsaw here. We just put jigsaw blades in this and it's great for cutting around stuff. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Toolbox, obviously, I'm not gonna go through every drawer, but there's uh, a lot of useful tools in here for different FRC teams. Maybe at some point we might make a video on it. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of stuff here. Drill bits of all types. We uh, obviously have um, you know, normal standard drill bits too. In here there's a lot of driver bits, uh, step bits for cutting bearing holes. Um, we got pneumatic stuff, 832 hardware, 1032 hardware, quarter 20 hardware. A lot of the critical things for FRC teams. Printer, so we can print one to one. Um, drawings and then we can cut them out and put them on flat plate and cut them out on a bandsaw. That's very useful obviously for making your own custom gussets and other parts that need to get cut that way. Um, taps, also I didn't talk about those, that's in, that's in this box. Over here we've got a 3D printer. Um, very, very simple one. There's not a whole lot that, like 3D printers take a while so they're tricky to use with RA3D but we might cut some or make some larger belt sprockets on this 3D printer. Um, and then we can use things like the, like the thrifty bot, um, print inserts in those to um, make you know, strong belt sprockets that, uh, that we could use on our robots. Uh, have Thule in here, batteries obviously, chargers, um, whole second control system. Over here we have, uh, you, could, you could see in our, we've got another video up, but um, we've got our swerve drive that we put together right here. So we've got a whole second control system so we can get a whole second swerve drive. Um, so that lets us test more prototypes, show more things in RA3D, which is great. Down here, we got a whole bunch of extra Spark Maxes and Neos right there. Um, we got backups in case we need to really climb something. We got some pneumatic wheels and all the hardware to do that. Um, a lot of number of belts that are useful. These are tools, wrenches, and sockets. Um, it's good to have all your electrical crimpers ready to go. Um, over here, these are less used tools, more rare tools. That one's empty. All of our stickers. Um, sandpaper, uh, here, energy chains, a useful thing to have. Ours in particular came from Amazon. Um, number of different brushed motors, in case we want to use some of these. We've got flat belt, which is a useful thing to have. We have um, cable, which is sometimes needed on robots as well. Lots of wheels. Plenty of options here, as well as brushed motor controllers and a number of different pneumatics options too. Uh, so lots of uh, lots of different things that can be used depending on what happens with the game. Over in wire, we've got this awesome silicon wire here from playing with Fusion. So that's going to be uh, be very useful for implementing on a robot. A um, number of other different wires as well. A lot of PWMs. These ones in particular are purchased from uh, Rev Robotics and Andy Mark. A number of other control system components and lesser used components. Um, switches in case we need to for wiring in our, um, uh, our Raspberry Pi and our Snake Eyes for the Photon Vision that we've got going on. Um, We've got a uh, number, number of different extra Neos that we've got in here. Neo 550s, these are Neo 550s, some extra Spark Maxes. Lots of rivets and rib nuts for connecting things on our robots. Um, bought some controllers. We've got those, some extra um, some extra cases in particular, we've got a lot of Andersons that these were all purchased from Andy Mark too. Let me over here. 
here. We've got some Versa Planetary stuff I purchased on eBay. Um, so a number of used things that these will be quick for throwing together, quick prototypes and that sort of thing. Um, we have planetary transmissions. So these are the max planetaries, as well as we've got a 90 degree right here uh, in this box. And some interface things that are helpful here. And these are ultra planetaries. Uh, so useful with the 550 motors. Now we're going to move over here. Um, there's a shock compressor over in that corner. So that's, uh, that's useful for all the air tools. Right here we've got some scrap aluminum from 1756. They've helped us out with that. Um, over here, a number of different power tools. We've got three drills and two impact wrenches, a couple electric screwdrivers, um, obviously some air tools like cutoff tools, reciprocating saw here. We've got a, a Dremel, we've got um, the Harbor Freight air tool, um, we've got a rib nut tool over here as well, uh, that's an air tool, and there's a number of tools down here like circular saws and things like that. So, um, tool shelf, plenty of tools that the team can use. Coming in here, we've laid out some FRC carpet, we're going to gaff tape it down. Um, this is going to be a great place to test all of our prototypes and uh, eventually we may or may not um, go to some larger facilities to run the whole robot and the robot reveal but this will be a great place to test things. The garage is also has a two foot higher ceiling uh, so we might move this up there and test up there if the height is required for the game but for now this is good for prototype testing on carpet. Uh, the team obviously needs to eat and drink uh, so we've got Lots of uh, lots of soda and water and things that are uh, that are tasty in this um, in this cooler whole snack thing. We've got a TV to watch the reveal, and during during the stream, we'll be able to watch the chat, so we can check on what everyone's saying and everything. Obviously, the programmers uh, and the media team and the uh, and the CAD team need tables, so we got a table here for them to work. They've also got couches and stuff that they can hang out and do that sort of stuff over the three-day build. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go upstairs. The nice thing about the garage space is that the ceiling's a little higher if we need to do testing up here, and also it's a lot cleaner for dealing with wood cuts, building field elements, and some of the equipment that uh, some of our team members are bringing over. Um, for the build, we're going to put that up here. Like we've got, the, what's planned is to have mills and lays coming. So um, we should have, and we'll also probably move the CNC up here as well, because it's loud. So um, this will be a good space to have a lot of that tooling running. And plus also the garage has, you, you know, it, it's not super cold, so it's a pretty good place for us to do that. It's also gives extra space to hold our larger sheet material. Uh, so we're gonna have aluminum, uh, polycarbonate, and plywood here in the sheet metal uh, in the sheet rack. We've got our, our wood two by fours. First didn't release a materials list this year. So what we have uh, with here is we're just guessing essentially with what might be needed. So hopefully um, we might have to go out and buy some more stuff, but it'll work for now. We also have a chop saw. So this will be good for, for making cuts and everything there. Um, so with that, uh, there, there's a couple other tools that are coming in. Um, one of our team members brought in a cutoff bandsaw, so that's pretty pretty useful too. This will be a lot more space after we pull the extra car out of here, but for now, um, this essentially gives us an extra workspace, which is which is great, especially for a lot of the uh, the machining that needs to get done. So I'm Ben with RA3 Redux and we'll be streaming on first updates now on January 7th. Looking forward to seeing you there. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in 3 Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.